Have you ever wanted to mine more than one coin at the same time using a single CPU? Well, today on That Tech Guy, I'm going to be showing you how you can mine more than one coin at the same time using a single CPU on the Unminable app. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you a really simple way of how you can mine more than one coin using just a single CPU. So first thing you need to do is to go to the Unminable website and download the latest Unminable app version. Okay, at the moment it's version 1.1.0. You have two options. You can either download the main version only or you can download the app, which will also include the minor files, which is the green button here. Now, the difference between this is that if you download the main version, you won't have the minor files. I personally like to use the main version so that if you're upgrading from an older version, you won't lose your address and mining settings. Also, I like to use the main version because the one with the minor files included might not have the latest minor files and this way I'll just download the minor files separately and that will ensure that I have the latest versions. Once you've downloaded the minor and you've excluded it from your antivirus and you've excluded the minor from your antivirus as well, I've got a video showing you how you can do that briefly as well, you'll then open up the app. Now I've got my app here, the shortcut to the app is on my desktop, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say run as administrator. This is going to launch the unminable app right now. I'm going to click on continue and here it will give you the option to either mine on your graphics card or your CPU. I'm going to choose CPU, update minor file location as usual. You have to make sure that it is pointing to your miner here and I am using XM rig and it's already populated here. So I've already browsed for XM rig and I'm going to click on next. And let's say I'm going to mine, for example, Winkcoin. Now I'm going to click on start. What I'm going to do is I am going to stop it for now. And I'm going to go to the gear icon and click the settings. So the gear icon is the settings, okay? Now here, Unminable, in the new app, you have a, a tab called Custom. So instead of just the low and the high that were present in the previous versions, now you also have the Custom button as well. What's great about this is that you don't have to use scripts in order to tweak your mining process. So here you can add extra parameters. For example, I am using a 12-thread CPU. I've got a six core CPU, but it provides 12 threads. Now, from those threads, by default, my CPU would use half of those threads. It would use around six or maybe seven, not more than that. So what I am going to do is I am going to tell it that for this session, for mining Winkcoin, I wanted to use half of those threads, okay? I'm going to use three threads. You can set a custom worker name, which is going to be in my case, techoguy underscore CPU. And I'm just going to click on save. Now, obviously if you have more threads, then my recommendation to you is that, for example, if you have 32 threads, then I would divide that by two and use 16 threads. If you're going to use all of the threads, or if you're going to try to use more than 50% of the threads, that will have a negative effect on performance. I have tried this and it actually lowers your hash rate. It does not improve the hash rate. So before starting this, I am going to now open another session of the Unminable app. Again, right click on the Unminable app and click on run as administrator. That's going to open up now. And once that's open, we'll do the same thing again. I'm going to click on continue. Let's just put these side by side. I'll just move this over here. Okay, I'm going to go to CPU, make sure the minor file location is okay. So here it's populated, next. And this time, let's say I'm going to mine on this session, dodge, okay? So I'm gonna mine two coins at the same time. Now I'm just going to grab my dodge address from the script I had created in another video. 
I'm going to copy my address and I'm just going to copy it right there. If I click on start, I am going to stop this session as well just to show you that the settings are the same. So I'm going to go to settings, hyphen hyphen threads equals three, custom is selected here, and my worker name is Guy CPU. Now, if I'm going to change the worker name here, it will also change in the other one here as well. It is the same system, so you can't have more than one worker name unless you're going to use GPU and CPU, for example, at the same time. But here I'm using two sessions for the CPU. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to start mining Wink and I'm going to start mining Dodge. And I'm using a total of six threads, okay? I've got a 12 thread processor. That's why I'm using six threads. Yours might be different. You might have a four core eight thread processor instead. So in that case, from the eight threads, I would recommend using four of those threads and using two for one coin and two for the other coin. So at the moment, as you can see, I am mining simultaneously Wincoin and Dogecoin on the unminable pool. So the load is being split. CPU usage is at 62%, and that's what it is normally at when I mine a single coin using all of my threads at default. All of my threads meaning the, the six thread count, not the whole 12 threads. The reason for not using the 100% is that you need to leave some processing power for Windows and for the app itself to run. And as soon as you try to increase another thread or another two threads, it's really going to hurt your performance. So I've tested this and I've spent a few hours trying to tweak this with CPU affinity and even with CPU threads, and it really hurts your performance. So it's best to stick to the 50 to 60% limits there. Now, if I want to, for example, prioritize a bit and say, instead of using three and three, which is basically balancing out two coins, if I want to prioritize that a bit, maybe more for Dogecoin or maybe more for Wink, it doesn't matter. Let's say I'm going to do it for Dogecoin, okay? So I'm going to stop both of the miners. I'm going to go to settings. And for Wink, I'm going to say, listen, just use two threads. Safe. As long as the total does not exceed 50% of my threads. And I'm going to go to dodge and say use four. So that's still going to be six. I'm going to save that. I'm going to start and I'm going to start. So now Wincoin will be slightly less and Dogecoin should be slightly higher when it comes to mining. This way I have kind of prioritized a more favorable coin. Give that a chance to start. So here I'm getting slightly lower hash rate, but it might still even out on the app. So let's just see what's going to happen once that starts to build up. Okay, I'm getting slightly more on dodge here, as you can see, okay? But sometimes they do vary, and until it settles down, it does take a while as well. Now, obviously, you can go to the website by clicking on stats here, and I'm just going to make sure that if I click on stats for Wink, and if I click on stats for dodge, here I have my mining pool and here it is showing me Teco guy CPU and that I am mining, okay? So here it is mining and here it is mining on dodge as well, Teco guy CPU. The other worker is, is not currently online, that's a different worker that I had tested. And there we go, pretty much it. So at the moment it's at around 1000 hashes on dodge and it's around 962 hashes on wink because i have prioritized dodge more than wink so that's basically it that's a very simple way of how you can mine more than one coin if i wanted to mine even three coins i would have split this up into two two and two threads for example in my case because i'm just trying to use six of my total threads so that's the way i would have split it up in my case i could have done six coins for example and said use one thread for each of those six as long as you try not to exceed the 50 to 60 percent of your thread count so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you found it useful 
please let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have any issues, I will do my best to help you out as always. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. It's free. Just click the big red button and you'll be notified when new videos come out. Obviously hit the notification bell and select all so you know when each and every video on my channel does come out. Hit the like button, take very good care of yourselves and until next time, thanks for watching.